My mum joined the WI in 1982 when she came to live in Taliesin. She was very reluctant to leave Birmingham because she ran old time and modern sequence dance classes. After being sacked by Birmingham Education Authority because they didn't employ anyone over 70, she was deemed too old, she made the move and bought Oak Cottage in Taliesin. As soon as she was settled, I suggested that she join the WI. The third meeting she attended was St David's Night when Eddie Jones, head of Rida Penai Primary School, came to teach us Welsh folk dancing. Of course, my mother picked it up easily. In a progressive, she danced with Layla Williams. Layla said to Mum, I see you can dance. Mum told her that she was a dance teacher of old time and modern sequence. Layla replied that she and her husband went to a few clubs and could do with someone who knew what they were doing and would she like to join them. This began a lifelong friendship and Mum continued to dance until she was 91. Mum also met Gladys Bailey at the WI. She hailed from Birmingham. It turned out that Gladys had lived in the street parallel to where we lived and only a few doors down and her children had gone to the same primary school as my brother and me but we had never met. Gladys and Mum became great friends and played Scrabble every Saturday night. The WI opened up another world for Mum. She went on every trip and many WI holidays where she always had an adventure and met the most friendly people. But she did give something back she was a very skilled needlewoman and always took on the craft projects, including the embroidered boxes which went to the Royal Welsh. She not only did her own, but completed other unfinished work. Some of the jumpers in a picture shown were made by Mum. Mum is 104 and lives in a care home in Bow Street. Her longevity has less to do with genes and more to do with the WI and the local community.